Master Thief Lupin III, alias Wolf, tries to prevent the wedding of Princess Clarice to Count Cagliostro, who seeks the secret treasure of the royal bloodline. The good. The main characters of this movie were funny, and just watching them as a viewer, I felt really charmed. And this especially goes for Lupin III and Inspector Zenigata. The movement of the characters in the action sequences is really wild and energetic and really fun to watch, especially in the third act where things go absolutely insane. For the time this was released, about 1979, this movie had some really good animation. Not only did it often bring attention to details that were happening in the background, but emphasis was also brought to some of the more subtle movements of characters and objects. Qualities that were very characteristic of Hayao Miyazaki and Studio Ghibli in the work that they did moving forward. This movie starred characters from a manga series that started in 1967, but I was able to follow this movie very easily without being familiar with any of the source material. And now that I've seen this movie, I'm actually somewhat curious about the source material. The Iffy This movie came out in 1979, so a bit of an older release. Obviously, you can expect to see some older story and character tropes in it. Some of these can include a cocky crook versus a hard-nosed inspector, and a hero rescuing a damsel in distress. These cliches are as old as modern storytelling, but they don't diminish the experience of the movie just because they're familiar. I know that there are two English dubs of this movie, so I don't know which one I was hearing when I went to watch this movie in theaters, but I will say that the one that I did hear, I enjoyed. The Bad Certain information, namely about one character knowing about another character, is doled out very slowly throughout the course of the movie. In the grand scheme of things, it's a very minor problem, and it might just be something that bugs me, but I don't think there was any sense in the character keeping this information close to their chest. I think they could have just come out and said it directly. The verdict? Castle of Cagliostro is the very first film directed by Hayao Miyazaki, and I must say, it's a very solid start to a very successful 30-plus year career that he had in making feature films. Despite being a relatively basic kind of story, this movie has likable characters and bizarre action sequences supported by some really good high-energy animation. Put simply, it's a fun watch. This is Detective Steve, and this movie's playing again on September 19th, the Japanese version, if any of you guys want to go see it in theaters.